All right. There is a series of games that I have not even touched over the years, and that is Assassin's Creed. We're at, what, four games now? I haven't played any of them, pretty much. I actually played this one, which is the first Assassin's Creed. I played a very, very little bit of it, and I don't feel like watching that video again. But uh, I played a very tiny bit of it, just, you know, fighting a couple guards and jumping off rooftops way back when it first came out, and I haven't touched it since. So, I actually wound up getting my hands on all four of the games that are out now, and we're going to go on a huge marathon till the end of time, playing these, taking our time. Hopefully I can zip through this one. I know I've heard that it's not, you know, the best one, it, that the second one was leaps and bounds better. But regardless, let's just jump right on in. Hopefully we can breeze through the first one and get to the much more impressive future ones. Though I'll have to reserve official judgment until, you know, I've played it myself. So we've finally gotten to put up all of Mass Effect. Finally got that done. So now I can start and just start playing other stuff. I got a lot of games. And this is loading forever. But I got a lot of games to play. Not sure about the new stuff, what I want to get. Um, let me see, Max Payne 3 is Rockstar, what the heck? I applied my heart to know wisdom, and to know madness and folly. I perceived that this also was a chasing of What the, the hell? Ew. For in much wisdom, is much grief. And he uh, okay. I'm like not even reading this stuff. What the? Yeah, what? I was like scared to move. He's got a problem. Oh, okay. I can't anchor him to the memory. Too much psychological trauma. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. I'm having a seizure. Ah. What the? Desmond, I what the? Try and relax. Stop attacking me. What am I doing? <sighs> oh my god. I'm going to start. Focus. You know what? Just screw everything. I'm killing everybody. Ah, you faceless freaks. I'm not scared of you. Just a picture of the past. I'm slapping him. Oh, I grabbed him. It's not working. Ha. Oh. Give it a moment, Miss Tilden. Oh my goodness. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, my eyes. Ah, oh, drug trip. You're losing me, eh? Hey, my God. Ah. I don't know what's going on. All right. Hey, you asshole. Come back here. We're going to Who did that? Was that you? I'm going to slap you. I'm going to slap you. Oh, no. What the hell? Jeez. These faceless freaks. Okay? Oh, you have a face. Oh, my I God. I told you he'd be fine. You bastards. Now, now. I just saved your life. Saved my life? You kidnapped me. You strapped me into that thing. Animus. It's an animus. I don't even know you people. Why are you doing this to me? You have information we need, Mr. Miles. Information? I'm a bartender, for Christ's sakes. What do you want me to do, teach you how to mix a martini? <laughs> we know who you are, what you are. I don't know what you're talking about. Don't play coy with me. There isn't time. You're an assassin. Mm -hmm. And whether you realize it or not, you've got something that my employers want. Locked away in that head of yours. But I'm not an assassin. Not anymore. Yes, not anymore. your file indicated as much. Something about an escape. Most fortunate for us. What do you want from me? For you to do as you're told. The Animus will allow us to locate what we need. Once we have it, you'll be free to go. I am not going back in there. Then we'll induce a coma and continue our work. When we're done, you'll be left to die. Truth be told, the only reason you're still conscious is because this approach saves us time. Huh. You're insane. So what is it, Mr. Miles? Live or die? Blue pill, red pill. Lie down. That makes me, like, think of the Matrix. Like, I look right below, I guess, my dude's feet, and it just reminds me of the Matrix. Lie down, please. No! You can't tell me what to do! Press any button to interact. Wow, look at all the Lie choices. Down, I'm going to click left bumper. Yeah. Tell me to push any A button. Wise decision. Oh, 
If I watched oh. The Matrix more, I would have actually coordinated the I? bumper to which You're pill. But I don't remember. Anus, which is... It's a projector Can I pause it? I'm scared. Genetic memories I'm not gonna skip dimensions. it. Genetic memory. Seems you'll need a bit of a tutorial. Oh. Very well. We'll start simple. What is a memory, Mr. Miles? It's the recollection of a past event. Specific to the individual remembering the event. Yeah, sure. Uh -huh. What if I told you that the human body not only housed an individual's memory, but the memories of his ancestors as well? Crazy. Genetic memory, if you will. Migration, hibernation, reproduction. How do animals know when and where to go? Look at the bird. What to do? That's just animal instinct. Now you're arguing semantics, Mr. Miles. Whatever you call it, the fact remains. These creatures hold knowledge absent the requisite first-hand experience. I've spent the past 30 years trying to understand why. I discovered something most fascinating. Our DNA functions as an archive. It contains not only genetic instructions passed down from previous generations, but memories as well. Huh. The memories of our ancestors. And the Animus lets you decode and read these DNA files. You're a smart Precisely. bartender. But there's a problem. This is the specific memory we're trying to access. Unfortunately, huh. when we try and open the memory, your mind withdraws. Access you lack denied. the confidence to step into your ancestor's body. That's what happened earlier. Oh. You got knocked out of the target memory and pushed back oh, to a that. more stable state. Why? It's your subconscious. It's resisting. We found similar reactions among <laughs> patients who undergo hypnosis to relive traumatic events. They can't jump directly into the specific memory. Touch they need it. to be eased in. Even then, there may oh, be wow, problems. I can, uh, oh, I can interrupt. So how do we fix it? We find a memory you can synchronize with, and we move forward from there. You'll get used to it. This is the closest we can get, so it's where we'll have to start. Oh no, I'm send me back the in there. Program now. No! <laughs> Ah! Oh, hey, look. I'm scared. Like, I want to put on subtitles for you guys, but I'm scared to skip stuff. Uh, hit pause. Nothing's happening. God damn it. Okay, well, we're just going to start walking around in the clouds. I never thought that heaven would look so cybernetic. Oh, God, wide out. Warning. Data oh, no. Unstable. Red screen. Attempting that means I'm dying. Synchronization. Call of Duty taught me that. Run, escape. Hello, subject 17. What am this I doing? This tutorial has what? been prepared in order to better acclimate you to the Animus' control system. Instructions will follow shortly. The synchronization bar represents how in sync you are with your ancestors' memories. If you ever fall completely out of sync, the Animus will restore you to your last synchronized position. You are currently dangerously close to desynchronization. Please follow all forthcoming instructions in order to restore system stability. The Animus utilizes a puppeteering concept <laughs> to control the actions of your ancestor. Okay. I'm loading subroutines to validate your body's adaptation to the Animus. We will begin by exploring the default actions of each input. Uh-huh. All I remember is... While head and legs. Still, That's all I looked use at. the head button to observe your environment. Okay. Hey, look, there's people over there. Hey, look, there's people over there. There's some people good. over there. Good. Yay, I done good. Use your empty hand to walk through these jar carriers without causing them to drop what they're holding. There's an old B wall Proceed walking. Proceed to the marker to continue the synchronization process. Oh wow, that's creepy as hell. What you looking at? Oh, I was gonna start slapping people. That's creepy. I wanna do that again. Run. Just knock them all over. They just all drop and look at just so creepy. Do it again. Do it again. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> They're all like, we are so disappointed in you. Why would you do that? Anyway, let's try and do this properly. Yay! Gentle pushing for the win. Okay. Well done. Yay! Well done. The animus differentiates between two fundamental actions: 
low profile and high profile. Low profile actions are socially acceptable. High profile actions are more action oriented. Hold the high profile button to see how your heads up display changes the context of the puppeteering inputs. Excellent. <laughs> My goodness, this is taking a long time. You will continue your synchronization process by testing some high profile actions. Grab and throw this individual onto the marker by using the empty hand button in high profile. Yeah, come here. Good. He hit the ground. He hit the ground. Oh, Using your leg button taking... in high profile will allow you to sprint. Sprinting is useful to escape from soldiers or to get closer to a fleeing target. For what man? However, I can't even be look at him. Be careful not to bump into anyone, for you can lose your balance and tumble to the ground. <laughs> really? Wow. While sprinting, reach the marker before this man does. I'm gonna beat you. Oh no! We gotta start you, cheater! Ah! Well done. Ha ha ha, viewers. The animus will also provide other important information. Uh -huh. The social status icon gives you information on your social status. The different states will be explained in context soon. Don't tell me how popular I am. This icon appears when a soldier is looking at you. The yellow color means the soldier is either unaware or suspicious of who you are. To illustrate the change in awareness level, you will stealth assassinate this soldier. Yay. First, lock onto your target. Now, select your hidden blade. Okay. I'm gonna forget, like, all of this. With your blade selected, walk up to the soldier and assassinate him by using your armed hand button. Okay. Hey, what's up, buddy? I just wanna show you something. Later. Now that guy's gonna be suspicious. Ha! Huh. I see where they're going with All this. Alright then. Where are you? Nowhere. Can I do anything? I can't do anything. Oh my goodness. The dead body has alerted the soldier and changed his awareness to informed as represented by the red witness indicator. Aggressive ah, okay. actions or socially unacceptable behavior undertaken at this time will likely provoke an armed response. <laughs> provoke this soldier. So just by jumping, I can provoke him. <laughs> Notice <laughs> that the social status icon has changed to exposed. Ah, okay. Use the ladder and try to break the line of sight. Oh, what ladder? Oh, God! Run. Only assassins jump randomly, apparently. Excellent. Unseen. The line of sight has been broken. Huzzah. Now, run into the roof garden to hide from the soldier. Roof garden. Whoa, what the? Good. Your social I didn't actually do that on purpose. That you are hidden, but the soldier is still looking for you. Wait until your social status changes again. <laughs> and then I what? All better things to do. Yeah, you do. Oh, I want to see how well, he climbs done. down the, the ladder. The soldier has lost your oh. You are now anonymous, and you can exit the hide spot. That is great. Excellent. Ah, oh, wonky camera angle. This is so weird. Being anonymous will fill your synchronization bar and make your job as an assassin easier. There are different places which you can use to hide. I can't However, even move. You must always break the line of sight first, and then use a hide spot to vanish. Scholars? Oh yeah, among a group of those people. That's funny. <laughs> 